So most of my water samples come from the International Geotraces program, which is a very large international endeavor to map the oceans for trace elements in their isotopes. It's something like 35 countries involved, and over the last five years and continuing for the next 10 to 15, the idea is to try and really get at the distributions of trace metals across the, all the oceans. And what's really great about the Geotraces program is we're now starting to see huge data sets for the distribution of metals in the oceans, which only five or ten years ago we had hardly any information about. So we're interested in the trace metals, which are a very low constituent of the seawater, so we have to find a way to really cleanly extract them from the seawater and then analyze them. And these really tiny concentrations we have to do in a very clean environment using a very sensitive uh, uh, instrument, such as a mass spectrometer. And what's really nice at USF is this year we're just establishing a, a, a core facility, the, the Tampa Bay Plasma Facility, that will have two of these instruments and it will really allow us to do cutting edge marine chemical research. So one of our current projects is to look at the interaction with the Gulf Stream and the North Atlantic and look how the, the Gulf Stream transports metals into the ocean where they can be used for, for plankton. And so we have an upcoming cruise working with the Anjari Foundation, which is a, a non-profit foundation based in Florida, and they try and bring scientists and education and outreach together. So we're going to cruise from uh, Florida to the Bahamas and collect water samples or measure metals and other things. From this project, we hope to find out how the Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf Stream are linked with transporting metals and nutrients into the North Atlantic, which is really a low nutrient area. And so the way these nutrients are transported there can have a big effect on how things grow in the North Atlantic. And one of the things we're really interested in is how things like pollution events or, or oil spills in the Gulf can transfer through to the North Atlantic and how they can impact ecosystems throughout sort of the whole ocean through these currents such as the Gulf Stream. We're also involved in a couple of projects in Antarctica which is really interesting for the global oceans because Antarctica is this very dynamic region. It has a big influence on climate. And it, it, this is a region where iron and other metals are really limiting growth. And so we have a few projects going on to understand the, the distribution of metals around Antarctica and how they interact with viruses and plankton and ultimately how they control the carbon cycle. So scientists have known for a long time that the, the things that really control where, where plankton live in the oceans is, are the major sort of nutrients like you get on land, nitrate and phosphate. But actually since the sort of 1980s we've known that trace metals like iron are actually really important and the thing about the trace metals is that they're present in very low concentrations in the ocean. So for example you, you need about a billion liters of seawater to get a few grams of iron. And so we're really interested in finding out how these cycle through the ocean, where they come from, and uh, how they leave the ocean. And this is really important for sort of thinking about modern climate change because changes to land use can, can really have a big impact on how much dust blows into the ocean and that supplies iron. And also changes in pollution can sort of really uh, affect metal budgets and really can affect where things die and where things live in the ocean as a result.